Okay, was well, as soon as you're uh, comfortably in, then uh, we'll be ready to take you up to the CSA. Roger. I got clearance here, Jim. This is Mission Control Houston. Is uh, Ross and Newman uh, approach almost an hour into the spacewalk at this point. Uh, they're we do expect to receive uh, television again from Endeavour in uh, just a little less than uh, two minutes from now as uh, lock for the, uh, Endeavour uh, moves on to the eastern tracking satellite, uh, improving the angle for communications. Again, we expect to receive television in just about a minute and a half. The, uh, TSA and uh, Nancy's getting ready to move Jim over there in just a sec. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave my power tool here for just a little bit. Roger that, and your uh, TSA access, Jim, will be uh, tool stanchion of 130, and yaw is 12. Very good, thank you. Really calm stuff, right? This view is uh, astronaut to Jim Newman. Uh, really calm fish trainer, and uh, you can tell... Sets up uh, his uh, work site on the end of Endeavour's mechanical arm. Antenna mounting devices. And uh, Jerry's working on uh, cables, uh, early com cables on the uh, FGB and uh, removing ca connectors uh, from a container with a, on, on the pressurized adapter of the FGB. You can see the sun is setting. Uh, the angles are getting long. We have uh, four minutes or so to official set set. Routing those uh, cables underneath the FGMB umbilical. Roger. Caution, keep away from FGB sun sensor. Not uh, with the earth in the background there. And if next time you see uh, Jim, you notice he already has his lights on, so he's ready for, for darkness. I think Jerry probably has his on also. As a way, they may need to adjust their cooling just, just a bit and, of course, uh, raise the, the sun visor. I guess I'm ready to receive stuff from Jim, huh? That's your next. You're going to get 53 and 54 from Jim. Okay. And I'm going to ask them to have to read to you when you get them. Okay. Let's see. Underneath all this stuff to start with. Yeah. Are you any more slack in this one? Yeah, there's more. Yeah, and that they'll loosen up. Illuminate the work side. And of course, they work as uh, as a team. Also, if, uh, Jim can uh, use his lights to illuminate uh, areas for Jerry to work. Uh, more or less where you point your head, uh, although they are uh, pivotable uh, somewhat so that you can uh, uh, look a little bit off your, your vision axis. And what they're doing right now is, um, is uh, stringing the, the cable along the route, uh, and they'll be securing it uh, on that route uh, so that it doesn't become a snag hazard and doesn't get loose. Uh, entangle with anything, uh, be securing it with uh, wire ties, which are really clever devices uh, that uh, you just twist around a handrail or a structure and it holds the wire in place. Okay, Jerry, I guess you can do the best you can. Jim Newman uh, taking this uh, cable down to uh, the uh, starboard berthing port on Unity, uh, where there will be another connector uh, for the other end. Cover is closed. Endeavor now uh, crossing above the Middle East. The cables for the first time at 
uh, the junction of handrail 1031 and 1030. Okay, Jerry, thank you very much. I guess you're going to just uh, follow along and uh, go ahead and cable down. For sure. Uh, your step just says to temp the uh, connectors with the small, small retractable. Roger, I have uh, connected one end, uh, I mean, uh, part of it to 123. And now the idea again is to keep the cable uh, out of the way from uh, other EVA crew members that need to translate along that same path. called a boat hook uh, that they'll retrieve from the airlock uh, to attempt to deploy one of the tele-robotically operated rendezvous system antennas on Zarya, that uh, an antenna, one of two antennas that did not deploy as uh, they were supposed to following Zarya's launch uh, that were photographed uh, that indication that they were not deployed was confirmed by Endeavor uh, after the rendezvous. Uh, for this, uh, attempt to manually deploy uh, the one antenna, uh, astronaut Jim Newman will be maneuvered uh, into position with that hook uh, near the antenna. Uh, however, remaining uh, at least uh, four feet away, well over four feet away, that's the length of the antenna that it deploys to. Uh, and then uh, slightly pull on it uh, to see if that will release it and let it deploy and unfurl. Again, it unfurls about uh, four feet. The antenna is four feet long. The system has on it uh, one uh Sorry, I'm not sure the option. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the screen. They didn't tell us there was a camera. <laughs> Dang. Congratulations, crew. You got her deployed. All right. Good to see. <laughs> I hope the camera caught it. It went straight out. That is Endeavour right crossed above the northeast coast of Australia. I think it just took it. Maybe, it. maybe it needed to heat up or something in the sun. Yep, who knows? So here, and, uh, and we'll be ready to go. Sounds good. Watch that boom, Jim. Yeah, thank you. That antenna deployed uh, four feet long, unfurled. Again, an antenna on the opposite side of Zarya is uh, similarly stuck. 